name is Firefighter Lewis. This is Firefighter Joe. Hey guys. And we're going to talk to you about fire safety today with our Hall County Fire Services Firehouse. Now that we're inside, we're going to show you something about smoke alarms. This would be a lot easier if I had a smoke alarm to show you. Do you? Hello. Oh, you sly dog. Thanks, Firefighter Joe. All right. Talking about smoke alarms. Everybody should have them in their house, and smoke alarms save lives. First of all, where do you put a smoke alarm? Up high. High on the wall, or even on the ceiling. Because when smoke starts to fill in the house, it starts at the ceiling, and it works its way lower, and lower, and lower, okay? So you want that smoke alarm high, so it's an early warning system. All right. Smoke alarms, a lot of them take batteries. So you gotta check those batteries. Check those batteries at least once a month. You push the button, if it beeps, you're good. If it doesn't, change that battery. All right, and you should change your batteries anyway at least twice a year. And that would be spring and fall. Good job, Firefighter Joe. Spring and fall, okay? Next, I want you to hear what this smoke alarm sounds like. We're gonna push this button let you know what it sounds like when it's telling you that there's smoke in your house. You ready? Yes, sir. You ready? Let's go. Next, we're going to show you what to do when that sounds. You ready? Let's go. Welcome. Now that we've let you hear what it sounds like, now we've got to show you what to do when you hear it. When you hear that smoke alarm, we want you to practice exit drills in the home. All right, you can practice this. It's just like a fire drill. You do a fire drill at school, you practice exit drills at home, okay? You hear that smoke alarm? You gotta know two ways out of your room. That's important right there. What are the two ways that you can get out of your room? Through your door or through your window. That's right. If you get to that door and you feel it with the back of your hand and it's hot, can you go that way? No. What's on the other side of that door? Fire. Good job. You gotta go out the window then. All right, but be safe. Don't just jump out the third story. Be safe, okay? Next, when that smoke alarm sounds, it means your house is getting full of what? Smoke. And there's a special way we like you to get out. We don't want you to run. We don't want you to panic. We want you to stay calm. And we want you to do something called get low and go. All right, and Firefighter Joe, he's gonna show you how to do that right now. We got our smoke here with his angry face. Firefighter Joe's gonna get down on his hands and knees and he's gonna crawl nice and safe on the way out. And while he's crawling out, he doesn't stop for anything because the most important thing in that house is you. Let's meet him on the outside. Something important we need you to do. We need you to find a safe place away from the home that's out of danger. That either means like the end of the driveway, maybe a neighbor's house, or in our case, the mailbox. We're nice and safe away from the house. We wait till everybody gets out. And once you get out of that house, you stay out. Don't go back in for anything. And what's that number we call once we're out nice and safe? 911. Call 911. All right. Now from Firefighter Lewis and Firefighter Joe, stay safe. Check your smoke alarms. And remember, when there's smoke in the house, get low and go. Bye. Ah!